episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a lithophane or a relief from an image right inside of Tinkercad. A lot of you may not know that this feature exists natively inside here. It's a handy little feature and I'm going to show you how to use it today. So I've got a work plane open. I've got my ruler out. So I'm going to go up here to my pull down up here with basic shapes. I'm going to find shape generators here. I'm going to select featured shapes here. And then what you'll find up here is the image generator, uh, uh, shape generator. I'm going to pull this out onto the bed, and there it is, and I now have it. Now, you'll notice in the control plane up here, I have a place to drag a picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop open File Explorer. I'm going to use this logo from my drone channel, uh, Video-Drone, and I'm just going to drag it over and drop it. And then one of the things that you'll notice is I now have... Um, an image or an embossed image on my uh, work surface. So speaking of embossing, there's a feature over here. So uh, you notice it's automatically selected of embossing. And now notice the height here, 2.5 millimeters. Now if I remove it, what happens is this drops it down to 2, and then what happens is it recesses the embossing into the object. So if you want it to stand proud, you'll select emboss. If you don't want it to stand proud of the surface, you'll unclick it so it's blank. The smoothness feature, uh, depending upon the detail of your image that you drop. Now this is basically a vector image, so it, it's pretty clean. I don't have to smooth it out, but you can kind of see what happens as I move it back and forth. Since this is a pretty simple image, three is more than enough. But again, the more you increase the slider, uh, the, the smoother your image is going to get and the more detail you're going to lose. So unfortunately, there's no real way to add more embossing. I think that would be a nice feature, but this is what we have to live with. So we'll create a lithophane type object. Now, the other interesting thing about this is this object is, we can now work with it just like any other object. So we can make a cookie cutter out of it by turning it into a hole or treat it just as another shape. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to make this, um, uh, since it's a circle, I'm just going to make it 60 by 60 and kind of give you an example. And I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to pull up my basic shapes. And then what I'm going to do is scroll up. I'm going to, if I stay up here, I'm going to select a cube or a box, pull it out of my work surface. And I'm going to make this uh, 70 by 70, just a cube a little bit bigger than this cube. And then I'm going to move this over a little bit just to give myself some working room. And then I'm going to pull a cylinder over here. And I'm going to make this go back and make this a little bit shorter, just 10 millimeters. And then I'm going to make this uh, cylinder now 60 by 60. And you can kind of maybe see where I'm going to go with this. If not, just hang tight a quick second. And then I'm going to increase my sides. I really like smooth sides. So I don't want the jerky sides. And so now what I'm going to do is highlight this so I can use my favorite tool, the centering tool. I wish there was a button they would have where you just click it and it just auto-centers it because, you know, um, this shortcuts this process of having to click both. And I'm going to lower this down and then I'm going to select this whole thing and boom. Naturally, I got a hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy over and I'm going to lower this down. It might take a while to think about it. Um, okay, I got this down. I'm going to turn this into a hole. And then what I'm going to do is again go up here, use my favorite tool, the align, hit my uh, stuff, and then go ahead, select this, and join this. And in a minute or so, what I'll do is I'll have a medallion of my logo. There we go. So you see I knocked this out to become a circle and now I can do, it could be a medallion, a 3D printed coin. Um, you know, if I want to add a little feature up here, I could do that creating sort of a, a, a pendant or something. Uh, so anyways, again, you can do tons of different things with this function. You can customize the top of uh, your box as a gift, uh, all kinds of crazy things. Uh, but with this, tell you what, let's go ahead and print this out and see how it comes out. And then we'll meet back at the bench and see what it all looks like. Let's head over there. 
Welcome back. We're here at the bench. I'm going to run a bit of a time lapse of this being printed. It's not that exciting to do a standalone. So I just throw it up in the corner. Printed out very nice on my Delta printer. Uh, also came out really nice as far as the design. So I'm not sure you can quite see it. It's kind of hard because it's white on white. But uh, I think this thing would do a great job for like a lithograph, something like that. Um, the smoothness came out very nice. And this is a great 3D printed coin for my video drone channel. What? You didn't know I do also a drone channel? I'll have the link down below. So I definitely love flying all kinds of drones and love making stuff warm. So I do most of that stuff over there. But I thought this was interesting to share of how to create a lithophane or something like or to just simply emboss a project. Um in your own designs inside a tinker can so kind of nice for gifts mother's days coming up things like that impress mom with your 3d printing skills by maybe putting your picture your picture what have you the dog's picture i don't really care on a jewelry box or something else that you 3d printed for hey you know that's the best kind of gift is the gift you make yourself so anyways swag shops up there don't forget to comment below what do you do you have specific ideas that I could use this for? You could use that for? Share it with me down below. I'd be interested to hear it. Maybe I'll try it out on the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.